This is our patient today for liquid rhinoplasty. She actually had uh, her first liquid rhinoplasty a year ago, and we used Voluma at the time. And Voluma lasts for a fairly long period of time, as we'll see with her pictures from a year ago, what she looks like today. But she's ready for a touch-up. We put numbing cream on here for about half an hour, so she's nice and numb. Once we take numbing cream off, we'll see the contour of the nose it, which was really pretty perfect at the end of her liquid rhinoplasty, has, she's lost some of that contour because the filler has dissolved away. And because this point is so low and the tip ends up low, everything looks really long and bottom heavy. And so we can't pick the nose up with, with liquid rhinoplasty like we could with a real rhinoplasty, but we can help to camouflage some of this. So we'll put some filler in above the bump, we'll put some filler in a, uh, below the bump and we'll improve this transition. We'll also put some filler in the tip itself to try to create a little bit more definition and a little bit uh, prettier appearance to the width of her tip. So after each little injection we'll check and make sure it's perfect. I'm going to put a little bit more on the other side of the bridge. And just with that little amount of filler we have almost straight bridge. I'm going to put a little bit more. So now we're going to go to the part right above the tip. Turn towards me a little bit. And we're going to try to improve this transition between the bony bump and the tip. And the filler is a little bit moldable when we first put it in. We, we don't want a filler that's too moldable to use. We want something that's going to be stiff enough to stay. And this filler will sort of integrate well and be uh, within 24 to 48 hours. It's really not going anywhere. That looks perfect. So now we've treated both top and middle with about half the syringe. Each syringe is one teaspoon of filler. This is half a teaspoon of filler that we've put in so far. Really not very, very much. But I think what we want, what I'd like to do is try to see if I can pick her tip up a little bit. So we're gonna do that by putting filler in the midline, right where I want the tip to look like it's supposed to be elevated to. Little one, two, three. And that looks really pretty now. So here, let's take a look. I love it. Looks so, looks nice, right? Yes. Once again, it's a really pretty slope. Tip is up good support down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Your upper lip might feel a little numb for an hour. And that's it the, does, that's yeah. The, that's <laughs> the filler, the numbing medicine. So it's gonna take a few weeks to settle. It takes a month to settle, right? Mm -hmm. But I wanna tape your nose overnight. Is that okay? okay yeah. I'm gonna put some tape on to sort of support the filler where it is now. And then you can take the tape off um, on your own tomorrow morning. This is just like taping a real rhinoplasty. Just start from the top. This is just to stabilize the filler so it's not gonna move around between now and until it's stable. Really just overnight is all that's needed. So before anything, before we started the day and then uh, just after we finished, we see a nice improvement, a uh, subtle, but if you look at the whole nose overall, it's much shorter and looks a little bit better. Transition here is prettier. This transition is really pretty and uh, overall really nice.